So I just finished watching, and so the children shall lead. Talk about an episode that was nothing but wasted potential. It started out great. The team beams down to this planet, and the people they're supposed to meet are all dead. And they're trying to figure out what's going on. It looks like self-inflicted wounds. And then it gets really interesting because their children show up. But the children are acting as if nothing wrong has happened. They begin to play around. They begin dancing and, and gaming amongst the bodies of their dead parents. Awesome setup. I'm really liking this at this point. On top of that, McCoy and Spock are having a debate as to what happened. And neither one of them can figure it out. Is it a virus? Was it some sort of attack? Um, are these kids dealing with PTSD? What's going on? Really, really great setup. And unfortunately, it goes downhill from there. They take the kids back up to the Enterprise, uh, feed them some ice cream, and then it just gets dumber and dumber. Um, basically, from there, we find out the kids are all kind of under the spell of this reject ghost of Christmas present. It's like the worst-looking Dalek cosplay you've ever seen. And, uh... Yeah, he wants these kids to help him take over the universe. Okay. Take over the universe, buddy. Good luck with that. Um, and these kids are able to manipulate the minds of people around them by stabbing the air, I guess. Um, and that's what they do. They trick Sulu and... Chekhov into believing that the Enterprise is still in orbit. They make everybody think what they want to believe, and it just gets really dull. It's the same sort of thing over and over. Walk around. Stab the air. Make somebody imagine what you want them to imagine. Now, I think where this episode really fails, like I said, was the lost potential. The setup was great, and I didn't mind the kids being under some sort of spell and being the villain, because here we have a really great setup that we could work with. Spock and Kirk bring it up for a very brief second that maybe we have to kill the children, and then they drop that plot point. I think that would have been an incredible plot point to expand upon. What if you cannot defeat this thing and you have to kill the children, that there is no other way out of it? Um, that would be incredible. I know it, you know, they could not have done that in the 60s, really, but I think as a modern audience, I think that would have held up a lot better. And, and I'm not saying you had to, but make that the major dilemma, and at the very end, they figure out some way to save them. Um, we have been seeing more and more stories within the last decade or so where children are being killed, and it's a major plot point, um, you know, big one right now is the Hunger Games, and before that, Battle Royale. Uh, I even remember one of my favorite comic books, Hack Slash, had an, an issue where there were these possessed children, and the main character had to make this decision, like, do I let them live or do I kill them? Um, and it was pretty horrific, the, those, those sorts of decisions. That could have made this episode so great. Um... It kind of reminds me a little bit of, oh, what was the, uh, Devil in the Dark. The episode where they're in the caves and there's the monster that's hunting down everybody. Um, that worked really well because it built the terror and it was a simple premise and they really had to deal with some major issues. They didn't do that here. This was just kind of like, meh, yeah, whatever, the kids and... They resolve it by showing them some pictures of them being happy. I think part of it may have been, um, honestly, some writing flaws and some editing flaws. Because Kirk seems to know who this villain is all of a sudden. Yet there's no explanation as to who this villain is. So I feel like we lost a bunch of pages of story somewhere. So like I said... Great setup, but the execution after there went downhill, and that's where this episode failed to be interesting, was it was just repetition of the kids manipulating people on the ship for almost 20 minutes. Um, the whole concept of, yeah, maybe we have to kill the kids, that should have been much stronger. The villain was pretty weak as well. He wasn't that threatening. Um, 
and like they defeat him, like I said, with pictures, and the kids just kind of staring at him. It reminds me of like the old Peter Pan crap, where like you know, clap your hands and and bring the fairy back to life and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, we just have to look at this guy, and he's going to be defeated. Really, this isn't the never-ending story, guys. Let's write something better. So. Yeah, bad episode. Please skip this one. Don't bother. It is totally not worth it. I got nothing else to say. Um, so, four episodes in, one good, three bad. This is not looking pretty. I'll see you guys later.